I'm not sure if this is the border what the what the hell it is but check it out yes hey Venti. Um, Here we três, are. dois, um. Isso é velho. Aí na hora eu caí morto. <risos> Moments of Slovenia. 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 Okay, what do we know about Slovenia? Okay, we know that is a country with the biggest amount of caves in Europe. We also know they're very good in winter sports. We also know what else? They have the largest brown bear. Uh, and many bears. <laughs> many bears, yes. This uh, this cycleway crossed three countries. Mm -hmm. So we left Italy. Now we are in Slovenia, and you can continue on it, carry on until Croatia. Carry on, carry on. It used to be a railway, mm -hmm. and uh, now it's a cycleway. The way towards copper after the border was great. It made me completely forget about the disaster which was the crossing. Nevertheless, we still had to escape the rain, which was forecasted to fall on the afternoon. So our idea of camping that day was going down the drain. We needed to find a cheap place to stay for the night and head to Scotsian Cave early next morning, as we have an appointment with them 11 in the morning, the very day after. I think we are in the sea center now. The first impression, it's absolutely amazing. They have cycleways everywhere. When a car sees you, they stop at like three meters, you know, before you, like to let you go. Fe, your first impressions of Slovenia. Yes, isn't as it? As far as we can see, and that you're driving in the middle of the road. I don't know if they can respect that much. <laughs> Let's check it out the city centre. Let's go in there. The first thing we did arriving in the city was to go to the tourist centre and see how long it would take to cycle from Coppa to Scotsian Cave. The guy told us it wouldn't take more than two hours. So we relaxed a little bit and started looking for a place to stay. However, everything was really above our budget. After a few trains, we met with Doris. She lowered the price for us quite a lot, but it's still really above the budget. But then she said, OK, get inside and stay dry, that's the most important thing. And we talk about the price later. This is our first home in probably 10 days. So it feels good to have a kitchen, a living room, a room, to sleep in a bed. We wanted to have carried on yesterday and reach the interior of the country, like the caves. But the rain didn't give us a break, so we ended up staying here. It's a hostel, but it's very homely one. Um, the owner has a cousin. That lives in Brazil, so she was trying to speak with us a little bit in Portuguese. That was fun. So we ended up staying here, it was very good because we could use all the facilities of the whole house. And now we are preparing all our stock for the next two days. So I think we won't see a house again in a very long time. This is what we have for the next days. Some cereal bar, cheese, bread, banana, of course, wine. Pretty much that. And here we have some tuna, mayo, 
eggs and tomato. We're going to make some sandwiches and we're going to make a big omelette for later. On checkout, Doris didn't let us pay. She said she wanted to help and wished us a good stay in her country. It was great to see this kind of attitude in the Western world as well. The day started really well. We thought it would be easy. After all, two hours is okay. However, I think the guy that tourist sent up either miscalculated the time, didn't see what we were carrying, or simply overjudged us. So frustrating. You go up, 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 up. Seriously, I think we've been cycling up here for the next, for the past 10 kilometers. And still I look in front of me and there's still only up, 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 up. It's so frustrating. I don't know when it's gonna end. And I have my... I don't know how this thing is called. My Marsha. Get the subtitles there. <laughs> and the lightest way possible. So even the bike goes like that. <laughs> And this is still so hard. Just go up and then there is a turn. And when I can finally see more of the road. Surprise! Another hill. So in Trieste we didn't have battery to film our situation. But here we are again. showcasing all our cycling I'm so tired it's, the way is not flat and seriously it really pissed me off Sad. Very sad. We told the guys at the cave that we would be there at one o'clock, but it's already half eleven, and we are still like twenty kilometers away. And uh, if it all, if it is all uphill like that. I won't make it. Okay, so we are running against time now and uh, we need to be at the cave by at most a quarter past three. We've been on the road for what? Two, three hours now. Up hills, up hills, up hills. Fernanda must be coming right behind me and I just checked on the map. We are about an hour and 40 minutes away and now it's 10 to 1 which means mathematics 1 30 2 30 we'll be there make it 30 so hopefully we make it but it's not easy eh? uh, at least the road is awesome landscape is beautiful but legs are just painful now it's screaming but we carry on I just wait a bit for Fernando who don't want to get lost again as it did last time there she is I hate when I 
realize I'm not as strong or as capable as I thought. It's very hard and uh, at this point it's all in my head. Fee, hmm? look here. How do you feel? How are you feeling today? Bad. Tell me. Tell us. I'm just so, so tired. Sometimes I think I won't make it. It's frustrating. I'm really tired and... It's only the first day of Slovenia. Maybe I thought I could do it, and I can't. Just lots of thoughts and frustration at the moment.